the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how I configure a automated crypto trading bot on the Mudrex platform utilizing my RSI crossing up or crossover strategy. Now, if you're not familiar with Mudrex, it's a platform that offers a couple different options and one is automated trading bots that you basically can configure your own strategies and you can actually sign up for free there's a link down below and if you use my link down below you'll get $25 uh, free upon signing up and you could actually use that $25 to upgrade to the premium which is only $16 a month and based on the RSI strategy I'll be showing you today it will be trading on the five minute time frame which you would actually need this premium account in order to utilize the five minute. However, I have back tested it on the 15 minute, which is what the free account gets you and it's still profitable. So you could still go free and utilize the strategy I'm going to show you here in a moment. Or if you upgrade, you'll actually be using the strategy I deploy and you'll be a little more profitable in doing so. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start a new strategy. And simple enough, you click on start new strategy. Now the Mudrex platform is extremely user friendly. The interface is what I like to call KISS. Keep it stupid simple. And it is super simple. And now the first thing I wanna do is add a buy signal. And that buy signal, as I mentioned before, is going to be RSI indicator. So I just select the indicator box, drag it over and drop it. And I connect it to the buy button. And now I can just click on the box, select the pencil there, type in the RSI indicator I'm looking for. And now it's ready to configure this particular block. And in this case, I want the period to be nine. It will be using the RSI. I'm looking for it to cross up. And we'll start out with 30 as the value. And now we do need to adjust the advanced parameters. The moving average I found that works best is the EMA. And then the candle history I want to be exactly and tick interval of one and okay now the next thing i want to do is actually edit what this box is capable of doing and in this case i only want it to open long positions i don't want it to close short positions so i'll turn those off and now that's all this strategy requires to be configured on my buy trigger now we need a sell trigger again i'm going to go over to the indicator block Drop that in, connect it to the cell button. I will edit what the actual block is capable of doing. I don't want it to open shorts. I just want it to close long positions. I do not want it to reverse open long to short. So its objective is purely closing out my long position. Now click on the block to configure. Click on the pencil there, again select RSI, I type it in and then select it. And in this case, I keep the period as 14 and I want it to cross above again. So we're still crossing up. And the value in this case is gonna be 96. And again, we wanna go into the advanced parameters and change our moving average to EMA. And everything else will stay the same. Click OK. And we're gonna name our strategy and in this case, it's just gonna be RSI cross up. And click save. And strategy saved successfully. For this particular strategy, I do not configure stop loss or take profit as I'm counting on my RSI indicators to take care of all of that for me. So now I'm actually ready to go ahead and back test. And so we click on the back test. The exchange is going to be Binance, uh, USDT, and the asset is going to be Ethereum. 
And in this case, I will deploy this strategy on the five minute candles and click start back test. And now the back test has started and it's calculating all the results. And it may take a little longer when you're using like a five minute uh, candle than say a one hour candle. There's more data to collect. And we can see that it's finished and the monthly average returns would be 8.39%. And we can actually click on actions and it'll give us a better breakout of what all of the numbers look like. Now this back test was run for about a year and a half from February 2019 to today. And during that time frame, you can see the performance that the overall returns would have been 173%, not quite outperforming the market had you bought and held. And that's what market return indicates. Had you bought and held, this is what you would have ended up as a profit. Whereas the bot that I deployed would have been a little short of beating the market for a year and a half period. Had 22 total trades. Now the sharp ratio, typically you want it to be over one. Anything over one is acceptable. The higher the number, the better. And a profit factor, again, anything over one is good. Approaching two is a little above average. And trades one, we're looking at 68%. Now we can click down for more stats. The average loss was 15, almost 16%. And the average win was 18%. So I was up as far as that goes. The average hold time of a trade was about three weeks. Now this is a longer term strategy, but the reality is I'm actually more interested rather than a year and a half. I don't typically leave my bots untouched for a year and a half. They need some tweaking over that long of a time frame. I'm more interested in the six months so I can come up here to the six month, click on that and now recalculate and see what our numbers end up looking like after hitting that recalculate. And I just doubled the monthly average return my sharp ratio has jumped to three, which is really good. And the profit factor is greater than 10. Overall returns for the six month period was 165% crushing the market, which only had a 45% return. And so we absolutely crushed what would have happened to anyone who just bought and held. Uh, the winning streak was five, losing streak of one. We won 87% of our trades in that six month time frame. Our average loss dropped substantially to only 1.61% and our average profit dropped as well down to 16, but this risk versus reward is far superior to what we were running before. We were almost at a one to one, which is something I actually don't want to run. Our hold time dropped about a week and overall this would be a winning bot to deploy in my opinion. But with that being said, we can jump back over here and let's make an adjustment and pretty easy to do. We just click on the block, click on our pencil, and we're going to change this value from 30 to 35. Click OK, save that and now click on back test. Same thing, USD, ETH, five minutes. Click on start back test. And now we have that back test started and running. And upon completion, we can see we improved from 839 to 848. So let's look at the details and see where we might have improved. And our overall returns for the year and a half improved slightly. Our sharp ratio went up just a touch, profit factor a touch. But again, I'm more interested in that six month period. So I'm going to click on the six month recalculate and so we are around 16 now we're at 17 so we can see this jumped sharp ratio stayed around the three profit factor obviously big overall returns went up almost four percent if i'm remembering correctly our trades what one went up i think around five percent or six percent our average loss dropped below one and our average profit actually jumped about 3%. I believe if you go back in the video, it was around 16.3. We were able to improve our win percentage and lower our loss percentage simply by just changing the RSI oversold 
crossing level uh, from 30 to 35. Now let's see what happens if we take that to, let's say 40. And again, just go back to the block and bump this to 40. Save it and click the back test. Same parameters, start back test. And now our third back test and let's see where we end up. Did we improve or did we take a step back? And it looks like we took a step back. Now from here, rather than deploying all the actions, I can just click on one of the numbers and it will pull up some of the quick data and we can see overall returns 168. So yeah, we did take a step back. Our win rate dropped. And so with this information, I'm going to jump us back to the 35 oversold level. Go ahead and save that. And I've kept the back testing fairly simple here. You can adjust with the different time frames. You can select other currencies to trade on a variety of exchanges. And you can select other time frames or candle lengths if you so chose. I had already done some recon, so I was fairly comfortable with what we were going to be looking at. And so now to further our recon, it's time to do paper trading. And so I'm going to deploy this for paper trade. And it's going to go off of the Binance exchange with my pair of ETH USDT on the five minute candles. And it already kind of knows the fees I'd be paying if I'm using the Binance exchange. And I can go ahead and click start paper trade. We'll deploy $1,000 and paper trading has begun. Now I'll do an updated video in the near future to give you guys an idea of how this is performing on their paper trading and assuming it performs the way I think it will, which would be positive. I will then deploy it live and do more updates. So it's always important to subscribe so you get notified of when new videos are uploaded. I do a lot of update videos and also if you like this video, spike a like and if you have any comments regarding this configuration or want to see a different configuration leave some comments down below i do try to look at and answer all the comments and until next time remember never send your money into battle without first doing your recon we'll see you in the next video